Grace be unto you in peace from God our Father and from the Lord Jesus Christ. I was glad when they said to me, let us go into the house of the Lord. And I'm Father Steve Summers. And this is Dot, my eight-month-old puppy. And this is our brief daily message of hope. And we're having a, a very strange couple of days. Dot went to the vet yesterday. She's doing fine. But when she was six months old, uh, she weighed uh, 45 pounds, and yesterday at eight months old, she now weighs 72 pounds, so we're, <laughs> we're not sure what's going to happen to her. And I've got a strange set of uh, uh, physical <laughs> symptoms, and I'm not sure what's going on, so I'm going in today to, to see what's, what's going on with my system, but I've got probably sinuses and throat and all of that. But I was thinking of a song today. Uh, that's been one since my childhood. Uh, it's a song that the, the prophet Isaiah wrote in chapter 6 of his uh, book of prophecy when he got a glimpse of the Lord on his throne in heaven and the, and the winged seraph uh, 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 attending to the Lord and, and saying to him, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God of hosts. You know, religious experiences, spiritual experiences are very difficult to put into words. Um, I've tried for experiences that I've, I've had, and uh, it, it, it stretches our words beyond what we can do with them. But Isaiah wrote that uh, in the year that King Uzziah died, I saw the Lord seated on a throne, high and exalted, and the train of his robe filled the temple. Above him were seraphs, each with six wings. With two wings they covered their faces, with two they covered their feet, and with two they were flying, and they were calling to one another, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord Almighty. The whole earth is full of his glory. And indeed it is. You know, the glory of the Lord is all around us. We don't see it very often because we're not paying attention to that frequency uh, or that channel uh, that the Lord is uh, using to communicate with us. Uh, we have our channel set on something else and our frequency set on something else. And uh, most of the time we are, uh, <laughs> you know, killing time and, and we're, we're not focused on the things the Lord wants us to look at. Uh, God has never stopped talking to you. He's never stopped talking to me. He continues to speak to us in words of love, words of compassion, words of great kindness. Uh, our task is to turn out all the other frequencies that are going on around us. Uh, some of the silly things that we do to waste our time. Uh, how many hours do we need to spend surfing the internet every day? Or how many uh, hours do we need to play video games or solitaire or <laughs> Grand Theft Auto? How many hours a day do we need to do that? God's speaking to us all the time and the noise uh, from those other things is drowning them out and we're not hearing him. So the task is to listen to the still small voice that is still talking to you and know that he loves you. He's there with you. Uh, he's been with you every minute of your life. So he knows everything about you. Uh, he knows your good times and your bad times and he loves you through all of them. Hold fast to him today and I hope you have a blessed day and God willing, I'll see you here with Dot again tomorrow.